guys, today we're going to be talking about logging into WordPress and going over the dashboard. And again, below is the my affiliate link for Bluehost, so check it out. If you haven't purchased your Bluehost account yet, go to videoschoolonline.com slash Bluehost and click on one of the links there. So let me show you. So this is basically the login page for your site. As we learned last time, once you sign install WordPress to your Bluehost account, you will get a page, a site login URL, and it will take you a page that looks like this. You're going to type in all of the information that you received, your username and password, and then just go ahead and log in. And so this will take you to your dashboard, which will probably look a little bit different than mine right now because mine I've customized and add, added some widgets and things like that. But basically, this is what it looks like. You have over here a menu on the left where you can add all sorts of things depending on the theme and depending on what uh, yeah theme you have installed, which we'll talk about in the next lesson. But you know, I can add my posts, add media, I can add a new page, I can check out the comments. Um, I have different widgets where I ha I can have FAQs or a portfolio. WooCommerce if I'm trying to sell something. And then down here you'll definitely see these. There's the appearance uh, button where you can change the theme, widgets, menus, uh, check out the theme options, all that sort of things. Plugins, which is a huge thing about WordPress.org that you can add all sorts of plugins to make your life easier for you know adding photo galleries or videos or adding a store to your website. Um, you can add users if you want multiple people to be able to log in and edit your website. Different tools um, and then settings. These are some you know just settings for your website. For example, how many blog posts to show on the blog page or or how to how the comments are viewed, all sorts of things like that. And then down below here I have some pre-installed uh, other plugins um, that came with the theme that I purchased which is the Avada th theme which I'll um, talk to you about in the next lesson. Over here in the middle you'll see um, all uh, sorts of other little modules with um, you know your content. Right now I have my site stats up so you'll see how many people are viewing your site per day. I have a Google Analytics widget that you can add. Um, I have my WooCommerce uh, widget to see if I've made any sales. Um, and over here you can see like all the posts that you've made, all the po pages, the comments, um, and all sorts of things like that. So this is basically an overview of your site. You can customize this by going to screen options in the top right and then basically clicking on and off the things that you want to be seen. You can change the columns, three to four or whatever, and move these things around if you want. At the top of your dashboard, you'll also see there's a menu where you can go ahead and log out. You can add new posts um, with this new button. You can add new posts, media, pages, products, basically the same thing as over here. Uh, you'll see your comments, uh, waiting moderation, and then if you go to your where it says your site title over here, you can go directly to visiting your site. And this will allow you to check out your site. For example, if you've made any changes and you want to see them, you just go to over to the Video School Online button. And as you can see, once you go to your site, it still has this bar on the top where you can directly add new posts, edit the pages, um, see stats like that. And so the WordPress dashboard is really great. You can get back to it by going to Word Video School Online link over here or whatever your website is and clicking on dashboard. This will get you back to your dashboard for editing. Uh, there's a lot to take in and with WordPress you really just have to dive in and you know kind of just figure it out. If I can help you in any way um, please let me know, ask me questions, but for now, this is your dashboard, and next we're going to be talking about choosing a theme. 
great. I'll talk to you in the next lesson, and have a great day. Bye.